Yeah. So one of the things that um, isn't always conveyed in dramatizations of the gospel is the real sort of joy and excitement of discipleship, but particularly mm. with the two of you, mm. that really sort of comes across. Can you tell us about how you decide to portray it in, in that way and, and what it means to you? As brothers are, huh? as, as, as we are, as we are with our families, as we are with the people that we love and enjoy spending our time with. I think that's what we're, you know, I wouldn't even say trying to do. I, it just, it just it comes out. We're not, we're really not trying to, to do anything. We're just letting it happen. And I think when you let things happen, when you let these two play around a little bit and roam free, mm -hmm. that's what comes out, you know what I mean? And that's the beautiful thing about Dallas that you know, created the show allows us, gives us the space to play, to play, and it's allowed to be playful. It's not a stressed environment. It's not, not no one is on right. edge. He gives us the space and gives us enough encouragement to just uh, go and have fun. And, uh, and that's what, I think that's what allowed us to feel comfortable with each other, to be in an environment where we can make mistakes and we can stretch our boundaries and then, and then reach these moments together, you know? It's also, there's a distance that happens when you cut that part out of the humanity of these people. And then people feel like they can't relate when joy is such a part of life. And when you feel like, I mean, us as actors, mm. when we get to do what we love, when we get to do what we feel like we are here to do in some ways, there's joy in that, and so I don't know why it would be any different for these characters. Yeah, that's great. And the humor is clearly a really big side to it as well. Is, is that all scripted or so, uh, most? Most, of, uh, most yeah. Yeah. vast majority, like yeah. all of it is scripted. But there are moments <laughs> yeah. there that we get to, and those moments we just yes relish in. And Dallas <laughs> just kind of rolls his okay, eyes, but okay, some of it I'll makes the cut. <laughs> some okay. of it makes it. Yeah. 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 Because it said like we, you know, we should take God very seriously and not ourselves too seriously, and you, you yeah. do beautif beautifully do that. But in episode two, with your uh, sort of declaration of, of faith at Caesarea Philippi, yeah, there's a certain sort of heaviness which now comes with the office. Yeah, your character's been, been yeah. granted, and how do you combine that previous levity with now this sense of you know something has been put upon me i think as soon as i open my eyes and i realize that it's not just about me and maybe it's my time to look at the others and to see how i can help the others and to see how i can lead the others that just you know that solves it. that that brings in the softness and it brings in the empathy and it brings in more kindness because it's uh it's now about not just about me. Now it's about them. Now I have to make sure that whoever's going through whatever they're going through, let's say what, An what Andrew went through, now it's about being there for him and not just about putting it on me. So I think that is one of the kind of realization of, uh, you know, I'm a leader now. Mm -hmm. And so I need to stop thinking only about myself and I need to start thinking about starts with the people and then it grows and grows and grows. That's uh, you know. Yeah, because the others are still sort of the ego-driven conversation that's right. still going that's on right. amongst you the see? others. You but see? you've been transformed somewhat <laughs> by the effort. You are with me on that. Yeah, yeah, are, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Maniac. No. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much. There's let's definitely some. Record yeah. that yeah. and let's get those two and let them see this. <laughs> but, but also for, for both of you, a sense of the, the cost of discipleship seems to be creeping in. Particularly, you take the death of the Baptist pretty hard. And so there's still mm. this joy, but now a, a sense burgeoning that actually this might not go the direction we thought it would go. That's, that's one of the most interesting things I think about Andrew's journey in particular is that in season one, when I come to Simon and I say, you know, nothing matters anymore. The Romans don't matter. If the Messiah is here, anything's possible. And so in my mind, I go, it's all going to be great. Like, forget our worries. When then Andrew realizes like, oh, we kind of in some ways have more problems now. It's actually more challenging, more obstacles. Yeah. And so his sort of bright-eyed nature in that way goes away and, and it's really worrying and scary. And I, I think we see the danger close in. We see that challenge and that's hard to reconcile with following Jesus and trying to follow in his message. And so I, you see the disciples uh, uh, falter when really they should be steadfast mm. still. Yeah. And then, as well as the sort of cost of discipleship, mm -hmm. um, there was a so beautiful, actually, you know, man, I'll admit it, I cried a little bit in the forgiveness scenes in, mm -hmm. in episode two. Mm -hmm. And it seems that Peter, as is, is a character, he experiences forgiveness is not something glib. There's a, there's a cost, cost yeah. to it. Yeah. And can, yeah. You, can you tell us about the, 
the dynamics of you that know, and how it, has it affected your thinking I, at all? You know, anger is warm and lovely. It can feel so good. You know, anger, it's something that you would like to mm, just keep with you all the time and it's mm. hard to let go of it because uh, you feel so passionate about it. And with Matthew, it's something that uh, even though we've seen the two characters spend a lot of time together, but you don't want you don't want to let go of that. That's mine. You can't take away that from me because what you've done what you've done to me, what he's done to me. So um, I don't want to let go of it. You know, I mm. don't want to let go. And um, and it's something that I'm. Yeah, it's this will be this is that that whole uh, episode is for me trying to fight to keep that little feeling that is mine and I'm, I don't want to let go and uh, at the end I think that's what it is we can't we cannot move together as a group mm. if we don't allow ourselves to be together to not have these charges with us so I think that 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 moment is there's no way forward mm -hmm. if we don't let that go but it's hard it was yeah. hard the whole the whole uh, for four se no the whole three seasons and leading up to it it was hard, and especially seeing him so close, you know, and, and seeing him coming close, even though the empathy opened up to him, because you see who he is, and you mm. see, and at the end of the day with Matthew specifically, uh, I think you start realizing that uh, what he's done to me does not, is not driven by, it's not, an, you know, he, it's who he is, you mm. know, it's who he is, and I think that's another thing of opening that empathy a little bit and seeing that person for, for what he is and not just what he's doing to me. I think that's a life thing, right? Yeah, it's like definitely. usually usually the other person what they're doing to you mm -hmm. know it's 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 actually usually where they are and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you. And so to not take you know, not take it mm -hmm. so personal, but maybe seeing the other person and where they are and where their struggles are and all that kinda yeah. Of, you know. I, I live in a community of like eleven priests and it's often yeah. said the thing that annoys you most about the other person. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. actually just a reflection. That's right. Oh, yeah. Your, your bad habits and other people. That's great. Really, isn't, really that, right? isn't that kind of incredible? That yeah. it's all, you know, you just have to open your eyes and then you realize, mm -hmm. okay, everything is, I'm, uh, he's okay, I'm okay. We're just, fa both of us are dealing with whatever we're doing. Yeah. You know? Slightly horrifying. Though. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> um, and then one of the things that is, that's very helpful for me is the way that atmosphere of prayer is just so natural mm. throughout it and this constant you know which in the jewish tradition this this thanksgiving mm. all, all the time yeah and uh, and so it seems that you know the two of you just really take pleasure in in the sim in the simple things mm. um and has that that sort of affected you this constantly giving thanks for for stuff it, that it seems like there's a real atmosphere of gratitude mm. going on there yeah. i notice in my life when i am trying to be centered in gratitude. I notice that just life feels so much better. Right. I feel like I notice the day to day and in the simple things. And I, I think there's so much love and life to be had in the day to day. And when you forget about that and you're not in the moment yeah. and you're not feeling grateful and sometimes it can be very difficult to feel grateful because it feels like there are things that why would you be grateful for that? But mm. but I think the show really does do a, a great job showing, you know, how we live those day to day moments that you don't you wouldn't necessarily see without this TV show. It you know, we didn't want to go from giant Bible moment to, to moment to moment. You know, we wanted to say, what is it like when nothing that momentous maybe is going on, you know? What is it like when they're having Shabbat dinner? What, what does that feel like? And, and I think that's one of the things that people really respond to with the show. Yeah, yeah it was one of the great gifts reading in between the, in, in the lines that yeah. you've, you've, you've given us and given to me as a, as a preacher. So oh, thank you. Thank you. Wonderful.